Bowler last year, not this year. Eight Pro Bowlers, by the way, for San Francisco, and he was in the right spot. <laughs> Well, and it's their first fourth quarter turnover since we won in Arizona, and let's take another look at it. Well, it's a two safety deep look, and so the vulnerability of the defense is down the middle, but there was no chance of Cam Newton completing this pass. Navarro Bowman did a great job of shielding Greg Olson, and Cam just tried to force him on with not much help. We're talking about how the 49ers got on a wall offensively toward the end of the first half. Jeez, stop. They're a team that's also very capable of getting Onto a roll deep. Why are you filming us? Which is what they've done. I'm going to film me and Benny. Oh, shit. Watching the game. Before Super Bowl 48. Find out who will take home the NFL's most prestigious awards. Tune in. For the announcement of Rookie of the Year MVP, the 2014 Hall of Fame class, and more on Saturday, February 1st. <laughs> that makes a difference. Eastern on Fox. I was talking about Steve Smith a little bit earlier. His last catch was. Uh, he has left in the second quarter and really hasn't had many opportunities, but you watch it when you Steve when he comes Smith. off the line of scrimmage and just really not running the way he was earlier in this game. I've got to believe that the game is going to come to Cam Newton. Really, as I said, never even looked his way. He put the tech in, Brandon LaBelle, Greg Olson, those were the targets throughout this second half. On second and ten, here's Gore. Just eating the game clock as... The Panthers will spend their final time out with 4 10 left before a third down play. Talk about Seattle. I also want to talk to you, Troy, about Denver Broncos in that game later today against the San Diego Chargers. Seattle Seahawks will host the game next Sunday. The last time they had home field advantage throughout was 2005 when they got to the Super Bowl lost to Pittsburgh. They lost a couple of weeks ago, Seattle, at home to the Arizona Cardinals, but you mentioned it. they got a great defense. It's not just the noise. Yeah. A lot of stadiums are loud, but when you combine the crowd, the defense, they they are as tough a task as any team in the NFL. And you got to be real careful early in games against them because a lot of bad things can happen. You could be run out of that stadium before you even get through the first quarter. And Carroll said it after the game last night. He said, oh, we don't have any weaknesses in this defense, and I agree with him. Third down and ten. Handoff is to Hunter and Kendall. Damn, Scott. that's wrong. Winding it now. They're going to throw a flag. Josh Thomas, he took a swing and one of the 49ers, and if he did and he got the flag, that's going to, in essence, end this thing. Thomas lost his cool. And we'll see if it's just against him or if it's offside. And he's working against Quentin Patton. He throws him down. Then After the play, personal foul number 22. Defense. We're attempting to strike an opponent. <laughs> 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 he swatted his hands off. No, he didn't, dude. He played. He played in that rewind. It's another personal foul against Ron oh, Rivera's yeah, defense. That's so three on the day. And that first down is basically going to end this ball game. A swing and a miss is a foul, and so the officials, they got it right. And a lot of frustration right now on this Carolina team. That's a winner's dance. Got off to a one and three start and struck together a lot on, of wins. Man. And got this, man. Got themselves here into the postseason and have just not played the level that they expected to. Okay. Oh! He goes back. Luke Kitchen. Jim Harbaugh's club. Lost week two at Seattle, 29-3 on Sunday night. The last two games they played in Seattle, they've been outscored 71-16. to They've turned the ball over seven times against that great secondary. And we're going to see a lot more of that. A lot of hard hits. Two teams going at it that do not like each other. One of the best rivalries in today's game. I think it's the best rivalry in football right now for a lot of different reasons. And...
one loss record. I know a lot has to do with that Denver defense trying to slow down a, just a red hot Charger on. You know, Peyton Manning's not happy about that either. You know, it just goes to show you, no matter how much you've accomplished in this league, there's always somebody there to tell you what you haven't done.